<laughs> okay, show me your gadgets. <laughs> All right, so some gadgets. So I have a little fun case here. And uh, in the case, we have some uh, little things. So the first thing is I get a book every year, and every year this book is printed, and it has all of my data in it for the year. So it kind of shows you a, a breakdown of the months you were in, some of the places you went and things you did. And then each month shows you the, your location history. Yeah. Right? And then it shows you kind of how you spent your time and your apps and then what you did when you were sleeping, when you were busy, et cetera. So it's an entire, it's like Facebook, but real. <laughs> <laughs> so every year that gets created. Um, but then the sensors themselves are really fun. So there's two types of sensors. There are sensors that are more for the outside of your body to measure and enhance the world around you, and then sensors for the inside of your body. So we'll do the inside ones first because they're kind of fun and interesting. So some of these are pretty standard equipment you get at like a hospital or something. So we've all uh, probably had our blood pressure taken by a doctor, but this is just a portable blood pressure cuff that goes on your wrist. Um, can I try it? Absolutely. It's not going to power up right now, <laughs> but you can put it on your wrist. So? Yeah, so wrap the hard part around the bottom. Around the bottom? Yeah, yeah. Here, let me show you. Like this? No, no. So the, it's got a little weird cuff. See this part? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now, ah, there you go. So this measures my blood pressure. Blood pressure. Oh. And then this one will measure your blood oxygen and your heart rate. So you're going to want to put your finger in there like this. Okay. And just sit for a minute till it registers. And I always tell people, take a couple deep breaths. So how are you doing? Oh, good. So your blood oxygen, that's how much oxygen is going into your blood from your breath, 99%, super good. Heart rate, 88. That might be the lights, but it's a little yeah, high. I'm always nervous on really? in interviews. Yeah. You do great. Thanks, but uh, it's just uh, always like that. Really? I've had uh, hundreds of interviews. Really? And you're always a little always okay. anxious, but that's good. Good. Uh, and this is... Um, it does temperature across your head. Mm -hmm. So that one's hard to wear. And uh, then, should I press the button? Uh, yeah, it just, it's, it's not going to come out uh, right now. Okay. And then this one does EKG. So if you want to see how your heart is doing, we can go ahead and launch the app. And then what it's going to do is, when you put it on, you're going to want to lay this underneath the phone like this and put your fingers on it like this. Uh, so let's take that off for a yep. second. And just, again, all you have to do is lay two fingers on the bottom and you'll start to get an EKG in a second. All right. Wow. And it, the, yeah, the more still you sit, the more uh, accurate the EKG. Okay. Here you go. Oops. Yeah, so keep like two fingers right on the bottom. And rest both them real hands. soft. Yep, both hands. Just like, there you go. Okay. So it's taking a minute to stabilize. There, it's getting stable now. And that's what you want. You want to, that's called a sinus wave, and you just want that really even wave. And what's nice is the, the latest Apple Watch will do this natively inside the watch. So while you're doing yours, I can do mine, and we can have a double EKG right here on the show. <laughs> <laughs> And then what that'll do is that I'll take that reading and send it for a report. And what I'll do is I'll do a screenshot and send you a heart selfie. Heart selfie. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, so you do this uh, every day? Yeah. How many times? Uh, once in the morning, once at night, depending on the day. If I'm traveling, it's a little bit harder. And then these are so much fun. So these are more kind of, I would say, fun sensors. So this one clips underneath your belt, mm -hmm. and it goes against your waist, mm -hmm. and it measures your respiration. So as you breathe in and out, mm -hmm. it keeps track of how you're breathing all day long. Super. What I like about this is you don't see it, so it's just underneath. Um, this is an older sensor. It's about three years old now. This one was really cool. So this, unlike most sensors, is a special sensor. So what it does is 
your body moves because of electrical impulses that are going from your brain all through your body, right? It's like my brain says, finger move, and it moves. Well, there's a lot that happens in that instant. So what this does is it uses these sensors all around the ring, and when you put it on your body, it starts to measure your movement. So what good is that? Why would you want to do that? Well, let's suppose for a moment that you're working at a computer and you don't want to type in front of the keyboard or you don't want to use a mouse. You can just point and move windows. Or if you have a smart home and you want to turn up the sound, you could link this to that so you could just do this and the sound would go up. Or if you want to turn down the (laughs) lights, turn down the lights. So it's like recording a behavior because it takes the muscle electrical signal and matches it to what you want it to do. So it could be different for everyone. So you pre-program it uh, yes. to perform certain things. Exactly. Uh, so it's just one of those really bizarre little fun sensors you can use. But this has the risk of uh, limited activity from your side. Absolutely. If you don't move, <laughs> you just wave uh-huh. your finger. Yeah. Well, hopefully it'll call the police, right? Um, this also is an older, so this was a specialized camera sensor. So you would just wear this on your clothes, and it takes a picture every few minutes. And what's nice about this is there are some places you can't have cameras, but they don't know that this is a camera. I heard Stephen Wolfram is doing also similar things. He's been tracking for a long time, too. Um, Yeah, he's interesting. So, And then this fun little guy is called a capture. And what this sensor does is you wear it on your wrist. And a lot of these now are getting to be super old because of the technology that's advancing so fast. Everything we've talked about, you can do in the watch. Apple Watch, Apple, or just yeah. the Samsung Apple Watch. Watch. Yeah, well, I, I, some of the latest ones will do EKGs, I think. But this is called a capture, and this is just like a regular little band. Oops. But what's nice about this is while you're out, if you hear something you really like, you just double tap, and it saves the last one minute of speech to your phone. Wow. So it's always recording, but it doesn't save until you. That's interesting. So you missed something. Uh... Maybe yeah, maybe an important thing, an important or someone thing. gave you instructions yeah. you don't want to. So you know, you just tap, and you save it, and you can listen to it later. And then this is called a Muse, and this is a Muse version two. Um, and what this does is it goes on your forehead, and it measures your brain waves, and it trains you to be more calm because when you're thinking really fast, you hear waves crashing, but when you slow down, it gets real quiet, and you hear birds chirp. You Does it try. have uh, like uh, ear plugs? There's sensors. Well, you wear uh, headphones if you want to hear the sound. But go ahead and put that on. Like this? Yeah. Um, put, no, no, no. I'm going to show you real quick. <laughs> it's okay. So you're just going to put this part over the middle of your front uh, and put these parts behind your ear, almost like a little dog. Mm-hmm. So way back here. See that? And then you're going to squeeze it in real hard, okay? Okay. And then we'll start the re- recording so you can see your brain. And you'll have a brain selfie. <laughs> I squeeze on the forehead, right? Yeah, uh, squeeze, yes. Make the whole thing tight, like grab the back. There you go. And we'll know when you're, when you got it because these sensors all light up. That's good. I think behind your ears is still a little loose. You got the two, three in front, now the two behind are still a little loose. Almost, you got, oh, you got them all. See, okay, now you got them all. Don't move. So it's showing you your delta waves, your theta waves, your alpha waves, and your beta waves, and your gamma waves. So let me go ahead, don't move. I'm going to just a brain selfie. All right, now we got brain selfie. Wow. So this is, just, this is just showing us the raw data. The actual app for it will play the sound so you can hear the birds chirping and all of that. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Where's your Google Glass, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> I still have it. Um, it's at home. It still works. You can still do simple things with it, like uh, take pictures. Uh, one of the things I like about Google Glass was just like the app you tap, with Google Glass you could wink and it would take a picture. So you could walk around looking at nice-looking people and go, and, to, and actually take a picture of them. They think you're just being sexy and smiling, winking, but you can do that. Um, it just, it, I think glasses are kind of where the future is going just because camera tech is becoming so prolific. The other thing I liked about Google Glass, and again, if you never had them, it's weird. Now you're making me think I should carry them, is it had a temporal interface. 
And what I mean by that was when you look at the screen, it shows you like right now, like the time and OK Glass. But then if you swipe the side of Google Glass, it shows you the past, like pictures you just took, text messages, and you kind of swipe through your day like that. But what's really cool is you swipe forward, it shows you the future. So the weather in one hour, how mm. long your battery is going to last. So I loved Google Glass in that way because a lot of times we don't think about tech as a time machine, but it really is. Is this goofy? <laughs> Modern technology is indistinguishable from magic. I think somebody said that. 